In today's video, we're going to look at how to convert a 2D image into a 3D image. We're also going to be able to see how to increase the quality of an image and we're going to see how to convert our 3D images into videos all using free AI tools. So let's get into it. All right, guys, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is convert my 2D image to 3D image. So we're going to be using Styler AI. So this is the tool we're going to be using. I'll leave the link in the description. You can also go on your browser and search for Styler AI and you'll see the link right here. So when you do that, click on the first link that you see, Styler AI, and then you're going to create an account or log in if you already have an account. So currently now that I'm uh, using this tool, Styler is a free tool, okay? So when you open your account or when you create your sign up, you have a home page like this and you click on new project. All right, so this is what happens when you click on new project. You can give your project name here. I'm just gonna say uh, Simpsons. And then you can change your aspect ratio here. All right, so let me just click on apply. Now, when you use Styler for your first time, they'll give you 200 coins, okay, to use for free, 200 credits. So if you finish your credit, it's only going to be renewed after one week. All right, next thing is click on import image. So we're going to import the 2D image we're trying to make, or we're trying to convert to 3D. So this is my image. And then I'm going to go here and change my aspect ratio to 3 is to 4 just to fit the size of my image then I'm going to make my image take the full canvas all right now the next thing is click on image to image and then this is where you choose your styles okay so there are so many styles that you can use here but we're going to be working with the realistic one so now you need a prompt to describe this image but the good thing is this tool can describe it for you so all you need to do is click on auto prompt here for the tool to generate a prompt for your image all right so we have a prompt here you have to also note the prompt sometimes might not be perfect so let's say a cartoon drawing of that all right so I just click on stylerize to get our 3d option let's see if it's gonna work let's see what we have so far we have this we got this we got these these are 3ds but not the best so what you can do is change the prompt I click on auto prompt again all right, so I can come here and edit the prompt and I write 3D. And then I click on Stylerize. So you realize each time you use um, Styler, you generate four images, you deduct, uh, deduct four credits. Okay, so I've been using mine a lot, that's why mine is not 200. So, but when you create a fresh account, you're going to have 200 free credits. All right, this is way more better. All right, if you look here, my credits are reducing. Okay, so when you create a fresh account, you're going to have 200 uh, free credits. So I've been using my account a lot, that's why. So we have, this is a good 3D. This is a good 3D option as well. This is a good one. So I'm just going to stick with this one. So I'll click on it and I click on place on canvas. And this is what I, I have. So I like this one. I'm just going to click on export, I'll download it. Click on export and download. I'll send that in my computer. Now let me show you guys something cool. So go back to the home page and click on new project. Now let's do another one. All right, cool. So I can just edit this name to be like sharks because I want to use a shark image. I'll click on apply and then I'll import my image. This is my 2D image. I'll also change the aspect ratio to fit it 16 is to nine. Apply, okay, perfect. Now I go to image to image. Style, I go to realistic and then I go to auto prompt. All right, so I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to add here, I did this prompt by adding here 3D. Let's see what happens when I click on style arise. All right, guys, let's see what we have. So we have some pretty cool options. Okay, we have this and this, and they are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. So let me see which one suits the cartoon character best. Let me say this one. So I'll just, I'll click on this one and I add it to canvas. So this one, we're going to go with this one. Okay, I could take the others, but yeah, let me just use this one. Now, let me show you guys some cool trick with this tool. Now, if you look up here, we have some editing options that you can use. But right now I'm not seeing all of the tools, but you know, I've, I've done this uh, generation before using the same 2D image and I'm not seeing all the tools here. So let me show you what I'm talking about because I recorded this same video before. Check it out. All right, guys. So these are the tools I'm talking about. So you can see generative field, generative remove. You can play with them. So click on generative field and brush on my image. 
and I can say a tilapia fish and then I click on generate I'm going to have some fish options that I can add on my image or my design or select one and click on place on canvas so you see how cool that is it looks real so I can repeat the process again and brush somewhere else on my image then I can say a little shark click on generate and I'll have a shark in my image so you can see how cool that is yes yeah, so you can use this tool to generate or you know remove something from your design as well so I'll click on place on canvas so I can keep it there so you can use this it's a very cool tool and if you're comfortable with that all you need to do is export it you know so that you can save it in your computer so I'm just going to give it a name now <laughs> and I'll click on apply then I can export it to my computer now so that is done so if you see this too guys please use it okay we're back to our original image we're back to it so now I want to show you guys how to increase the quality of your image because sometimes AI doesn't give you the best quality and I will use any of my images to do that let's get to and the tool we're going to be use for, using for that is called iloveimage.com all right so this is the tool and the link will be in the description when you come here and you click on upscale image select images so you can select an image so you can select the image you just downloaded or anyone so I can come here this is the image we just created all right guys so check this out look when I shift this do you see how bright this image looks right now but look at this so this is the styler version it's a little bit dull maybe you can't really see it and this is a higher quality version look at this all right so if you want to upscale click on upscale and then you can download your high quality image all right guys check out the two images so guys we have downloaded our high quality image now i want to show you guys two free tools that you can use to turn your image to a video so the first one we're going to use to add animation to our image is called genmo ai the link will be in the description so when you log in or you create an account or you just open the website you're going to see this and you have to upload your image down here and if you haven't signed in they'll ask you to sign in with your google account okay so i'm going to click on upload image this was an animation i did so when you come here and it, this is the high quality image we downloaded and i'm going to click on it here so don't mind this is an old animation i did so when you do that they are going to describe the image a picture of a shark with a big smile on its face and then you submit it click on submit so this is the image and now the animation process is going to start very soon all right guys so this is what we have but i don't really like this video you know like it's funny you can tell it's fake this one is better this was from another image that i used this one is better but you know the ai always make errors like you can see the mouth it's got like a mouth here and someone here and the eye is kind of funny and the funny thing is is it added uh, other sharks in the video so well if you like the video you can save it when you generate yours and here you have some camera motion that you can apply on your video but i'm not going to save this one and i don't have the time to regenerate all right guys so another another tool that we can use to convert our picture to a video is called layer pics and this is it right here so when you go to layer pics i'll leave the link in the description click on upload you can upload you can get the picture you want from your computer all right so see this is the motion that we've added to our image so this is a video you can choose your animation style here you can also choose your video length here your animation length here and i'm going to make this to be four seconds okay and you know the animation styles there are different styles you can choose here and here so i'm just going to keep it like this all right and if you like your video all you need to do is export it so that you can save it click, click on save so you can save it in your computer all right guys so we have our video downloaded so let me just do a recap we've seen how to do how to use Tyler ai to convert our 2d image to a 3d image we've seen how to add extra elements in our image and make it look real we've also seen how to increase the quality of our image and how to convert our image to a video all using free ai tools so guys please give this video a like and if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button so that youtube will promote my channel to other people and i also want to say if you want to learn something new click on the video at the top right of the screen i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching